All right, I got a new toy. This is a speed light. It is the YN600EXRT2. It is, um, it's a light, it's a flash. And it goes on this Canon. Um, it's not a Canon flash. It is um, like a, a replica. Not, I, don't, I don't know why the word knockoff is coming to mind. But, you know, it was recommended to me by a very seasoned photographer who's owned lots of camera or uh, Canon flashes. And then she got this one and she was like, well, you know, this one is just as good, if not better. And it's way less money. This one cost me about $120 on Amazon. And yeah, so, you know, like... If you're new to the channel, I don't really have a whole lot of photography stuff up just yet because I'm such a beginner. But this is my first flash, and I actually took it out to um, a shoot the other day, and I was using it. And there's tons of buttons, and there's tons of videos online that will teach you how to use it. This is not one of those videos. I just kind of wanted to walk you through um, my experience with it so far. The first thing I wanted to know is how do you put the batteries in? And that occurs on the side like this. And it takes either uh, four double A's. I think these are, these are Dorso, I think. They are energizers. And if you're curious how to put it in, the little graphic here kind of shows you. So we're gonna do exactly what it looks like. See the up with the up, the down with the down, the down and the up. All right, so that's that. Then this kind of like just goes over top and then slides back into place. Boom, your batteries are in. It also uses, uh, you know, AA rechargeables, which is, you know, might be more cost effective in the long run. Um, but I was told that there's a lag with the rechargeable ones. So actually, if, you know, you want the best quality flash out of this unit, you're actually just going to use regular AA batteries. So... And <clears throat> just side note, this has nothing to do with the flash whatsoever, but I was getting this weird error message the first time I installed the batteries. And, you know, I was consulting the manual. I said, you know, I typed into Google, why is the light? This light here actually turns on when you turn it on like this. And it was staying blue and then it was flashing this weird uh, battery thing on the screen and then it would just sh shut off. And I thought, oh my gosh, like what's going on? Is it defective? Turns out <laughs> one of the batteries, I, I busted out the battery tester and one of the batteries was completely dead. So only three of the four batteries actually had a charge. Um, so, <laughs> you know, trying to troubleshoot this, you never know where the issue is going to be exactly. You know, there's all these, all these buttons and stuff. Um, uh, issue that I was having when I was trying to use the flash. So it slides into the top of the camera like so. And then once it's in, in order to lock it, you're just going to literally put this piece over like that. And there you go. Now it's one connected item. And as you it should just be linked automatically, actually. Let's take a look. I did it yesterday. All right, I mean, it happened so fast. I don't know if that actually <laughs> was captured on this video, but um, yeah, so it, it syncs all right away. As long as your camera would normally have a flash, now you might need to go inside and manually turn the flash on. As you can see there, the little lightning bolt is indicated. Um, so we're gonna get the flash triggered. And also this actually, it conforms to all lots of different ways you could 
have it like this. If you want the flash to go literally straight out, that is quite powerful. Um, but it also looks, you know, it gives it a, a specific kind of look. You know, if you want your subjects to be, you know, directly in the the line of fire, so to say, you know, you'll shoot them like that. Um, but a more softer look is to rather kind of angle the flash up to the ceiling and and then the the light actually reflects off the ceiling and lights up the room so it's a little bit diffused that's more of the most common way or that's that's more of the way to do it especially with a good lens now this particular lens is the kit lens and the aperture only goes down to about a i think a f4 which is not letting in a ton of light in the dark room. So uh, I was able to experiment with my friend's lenses and she had one that went down to a 1.4. And yeah, I, you know, I could ha have the, the flash totally up to bounce off the ceiling and it looked great. It actually looked amazing without the flash at all. Um, but with this lens, just to get a good shot, I was shooting straight on just so that I could see, uh, you know, the subjects because it was just too dark, but it kind of also gives it a very direct, like bright in your face look. So lots of subtle nuances <laughs> in dealing with the flash, with the lens, with your aperture settings, all the different settings inside the camera. I'm happy to say that I am using the camera in manual mode. Uh, so I've graduated to that at least, but there's still a ton to learn. Um, something also that I was glad that I had my friend show me is that you can actually change the, uh, the strength. So in order to do that, I just hit, what did I hit? Ah, okay. Yeah. So changing the strength of the light is very helpful. Of course, if you put it all the way up, you're going to run out the batteries faster. Um, but at first, you know, when it was just set on default out of the box zero, I felt like the flash was not bright enough with my particular lens and the aperture. So she had bumped it up to about a two. And then it, you know, the flash was really like kicking. So depending on your lens, depending on your aperture, depending on the room, and you know how dark it is you might want to bump this up and again to get to there all i did is i hit the the main button and then made sure that that was in uh the black was indicated and then there you go so let's put it back to zero just because but that's that's all I know about the flash. I know that this is able to be triggered by other, by a different camera remotely. I just kind of stumbled onto that option. If you hit this over on the side, then you're actually able to make this the master or the slave or to turn the wireless off completely. Again, you can switch through these by going through the jog wheel. Um, you know, I'm not this is just being used on the camera itself, so I'm gonna leave it set at wireless off. But yeah, she had two poles actually with these lights, and then she was just walking around the room with her camera, and when she would hit the button, even though the flash was not directly on the camera, it would wirelessly get sent to each of the, the uh, speed lights set up around the room, and she had flash and hard shots. So that was pretty cool. I didn't know that that could be done before. Yong Nuo. So that's all I have to say about the Yong Nuo uh, YN600 EX RT2 speed light. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. I review lots of different shit. Thanks for watching.